All right, here we are at the second highest pulled for what you guys wanted to see, the quarantine house. Now, none of you guys have seen this yet. I haven't shown any of this project yet. Still got the tubs going on here. As you can see, we are minimalist. As far as the house goes, there's not a whole lot of anything else besides aquarium stuff right now in here. And yes, it's a mess because it's a project that is in the works, but I was planning on throwing up a quarantine rack real quick, but I figured why not get fancy with it? Why not put it water change system in it that way i can get water in and out real fast being quarantined if i do have to medicate anything or take care of anything it's not like it's breeding purposes i'll be able to hit buttons and do it got my hose for the outflow system here got my water in line as you see here i actually just plumbed into the bathtub you guys will see more of this video and build coming up in the future but it has one of those pumps i'll have a little area here where i can have all my controls i still got to face it here i haven't been able to finish this project off because as many of you guys know petco sales going on so no money has been going towards this and everything has been going towards tanks i pretty much built that out of scraps that i got tubs down here all doing good there is a i got a baby vault got a baby volcano guppies in here with some kind of rotalia barely hanging on rotalia hurrah i think and we got the swamp guppies going on in here some java fern yard sand this one's empty and then I've got those magical guppies that I showed you guys in another video before. You guys may have seen. They're popping out babies here. I need to get them into a barn. But with the Petco sale, I'm working on getting their tank and their racks up. Because I just don't have space for them in the barn yet. That's why we're hitting up Petco. And you can see all the plumbing stuff involved. Parts and pieces. Once again... That's a whole video in itself. Then we still got the rack over here. Plus, what is a bathtub really? A septic system, not Doesn't city water. In it. So I can do this. Nice view too, to the ponds. Which that's the bathtub you just saw. And then in this rack, as far as what I've got, I've got a, some Epilates de Gedi. Really cool killifish. We got some Nothos Forshai. I believe they have a collection number. And then I've got some of the fun little pan checks, sheer line. How do you say it? Looks like they're hiding though. Hard to see them in these containers, but there you can see them down there. I do got one Unsku Sunk. How do you say that? Rice fish, which is really cool. I wish I had more of those. Tony Rome and I gave me those. Hopefully I can get some more sometime. Then underneath them, I've yeah, got some Panchi Panchek Saccharami, which these guys are about ready to go. I need to offer these. And then I've got a pair of fun little Panchek Gardneri Massage, however you say that. And I still got these procatapuses I need to get a tank for and get them breeding in. And some rice fish here. And underneath them, I've got some gabuins. There you can see. Which I'll keep the females together, but I like to separate the males. That way there's just no fighting when they're in these little spaces. And underneath them, got some guppies going on. These are the Dumbos. And big old fins. Females, beautiful. And then in here, got some lime green antlers, which are breeding off, looks like. And also wanted to show this a little. This is a plant lady LRB's plant room. As you can see, she's just got plants and stuff, seedlings and root cuttings and all kinds of stuff she's been working on trying to grow out and also get into the garden to do more stuff out there. But it's really coming along looking really nice. We need to do a whole tour with Lady LRB with this to actually know what's going on with them. I can't really tell you. That's her deal. And in here we got Lady LRB's office. I just had to interrupt her just to get in here. But 
We have some guppies in here that are breeding off. Um, not much in there. We've got some inlers in here, a bunch of the ETA, oh, what the hell are those? The El Tigra inlers. And up top here, I've got some Fundalopanchex Gardneri. Hard to see with the lighting in here. I don't have a flashlight, but. Oh. You do. I do got a flashlight. Thanks, Lady LRB. You got it. There they kind of are. Look, you can see they're pretty, sort of. And then I've got some orange Australs, which another thing I want to do for you members is offer you guys first dibs for the rare fish that I do have, because I know once I offer them on the website, they just go quicker than I can even mention them. So you guys being members will get first dibs on the rare stuff. And last but not least, Wesley's room with the goldfish. I love this tank. Been dealing with some green water in here. Let me get this light towards the front and see these goldfish a lot better. Oh, what a difference that makes. I love these fish. But this guppy grass had gone amuck. It was full of algae, pulled about this much out of it. And now the green water is starting to die down. And I do got quarry cats in here, so they will help manage the green water too. They'll counterbalance it. Since green water just settles down into the substrate and that's how it grows back. Hello. Hello, buddy. Would you like to talk about your fish? No. Okay. Let's Lisa and Hoy, though. And still haven't got any water in this yet. Haven't found any axolotls. We do plan on setting this up soon. I don't have a light for it. I still got to work up to get a light for this tank. But I will have a build video for this coming up soon too. Because it was kind of unique. Got a little artsy with it. He wanted the 4th of July colors. So that's what I gave him. Once again, you guys aren't supposed to see this yet. But band members, thank you, thank you. Now of course we got other plans for the house too here in the future. We've got the guard dog down there. Which I'll be sharing that. And, uh, yeah, thank you, thank you all for the support. Without you guys, we couldn't be doing this. Until next time, everybody, peace. Have a great one. Bye. This is really cool. Wait for it. So, the sunset's pretty awesome, but... Look at this in the middle. If it'll focus. Oh, focus. Look at the moon. Why is the moon like that? What is that? You see that? Is that the moon? That is crazy. I've never once in my life seen it like that.